Toronto Globe has worked with CrossFit uh, for over a year to facilitate connections in the Toronto region. And I'd, I'd like to start a question with, uh, tell us what you've achieved over the past year in the Toronto region. Uh, quite a lot. Um, we've just completed a project called the Digital Double Project, uh, where basically we're helping amputees uh, in their communities and their homes uh, maintain mobility and avoid falls risks. We're using video capture, pose estimation, and AI to actually monitor their gait, understand uh, where there's interventions required, and actually then arrange those interventions. It's been a very fascinating project, and most of the consortium members for that project have actually come from the Toronto region, which really shows that you know a lot of the competencies that we required are here. That there really is a good ecosystem in place. Yeah, fantastic. Where about internationally? With that. Uh, internationally, we have now uh, worked for about 30 customers in 15 countries, which have fitted about 750 uh, prosthetics. Canada is really a focus for us. We have right now Canada and Singapore. Awesome. Congrats on that great work. Yeah. Alan, tell us how the Toyota Mobility Foundation and the Mobility Unlimited Hub are involved. Yeah, well, in, it goes back to 2020 when CrossFit won the uh, Toyota Motor Europe uh, Startup Award. And then we started cooperating with Toyota Mobility Foundation, which is part of the, the Mobility Unlimited Hub. And um, the first project that we did with them was uh, just to prove that CrossFit could do what it says on the bottle. We, we did a project where we fitted 60 amputees in Bulgaria, 60% at home. It was important, you know, that we prove that we could fit people anywhere. When it's digital, you can fit them anywhere. Um, and then, in that process, we, when we saw amputees that had been fitted in the more traditional way, we realised that a lot of them were actually abandoning their prosthetics because mm -hmm. they didn't fit, they didn't work. And so we discussed with Toyota Mobility Foundation to do this digital double project so that we can actually engage with the amputees at home and we decided that uh, Ontario was a good environment for that. Uh, Alan, who will be the consortium members for the Universal Sockets standard project? Yeah, it'll be pretty much the same uh, members that were involved in the digital double project. So we, we have um, you know, Sheridan uh, Centre for um, Innovative Manufacturing where we have a very large robot set up that's actually, uh, it's called the Robotic Gate Simulator. And that was donated by ABB Canada as well. Uh, we've had uh, UHN, uh, KITE or KITE at UHN, um, involved in the project from a, a clinical perspective. Um, and of course, there's one or two international players and, and CrossFit Care Inc, uh, which is a Canadian, our Canadian subsidiary. Now, uh, I know a lot of organizations are coming together to make this happen and I know our team has thoroughly enjoyed working with you and your team. Maybe you can talk a bit about that experience. Yeah, it's been a very positive experience. You arrive somewhere, um, you're a bit lost, um, you're running a business, there's lots of risks involved, and it is just so good to have somebody that can guide you, you know, make sure that you can, can maximize upside potential and minimize uh, downside risks. And a lot of that is about people and introductions. And that's really where you know, Toronto Global has been valuable. Is just, oh, you need to know about that. Let me introduce. I mean, the introductions have been fantastic. I'm, I've, I, it's made me feel much more at home, and I really do look forward to continuing the cooperation.